just absolutely amazing how uh, a city will come together with a group and do something like this. I mean, to me, this is an example for so many other cities around the U.S. to support, which is a great hobby and just a great event. Uh, I couldn't be more impressed with planning, how they've uh, facilitated uh, just things such as discounts with hotels for us, and just have, they're just bending over backwards. They're just doing a phenomenal job. Turning over the motor and getting it ready and taxing it up. Uh, actually, I was hoping the, the clunks hadn't stiffened up on me, <laughs> is what I was hoping. Because I hadn't even put it together until last Sunday. It's been sitting in my trailer. Disassembled. The motors are close together. It's got a good sized vertical tail. So it doesn't have a lot of adverse, you know, yaw in it because of that. What it is, is the airplane's 150 inch wingspan and it weighs uh, 92 pounds, I think it was. And it's got two Zenoa G45s in it on Magneto. Uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, they, they have an elevated uh, pilot stations and actually at first I thought it was going to be a little awkward, but it actually works out. You have a really nice view of uh, your plane coming in and taking off. Uh, this is a Messerschmitt 110, and it's built from Don Smith plans. This is the larger version at 118 inch wingspan. It flies really nice. Um, this, air, this particular aircraft was uh, flew in the Russian theater, and uh, that's why it has a yellow band on it. And uh, this squadron had the WASP insignia on the nose. This all started with a question from the, from the airport manager, and it was a small question, RJ, can you do an RC airship? And then I, uh, I said yes, and I visited uh, with Chuck Hamilton. I didn't want it to be uh, a local fly-in. We wanted to make it something special. Well, it's, it, from the top down, the city has been absolutely wonderful. They see this as a genuine opportunity, as a, uh, uh, a recreational event for the community. And then it goes down to the tenants here at the South Hangar, who agreed to relocate their aircraft because we obviously have closed down this, this whole section of the airport. I think the guys are doing actually a great job. It's a phenomenal facility, but uh, no, just a great place to come fly.